I was very much looking forward to seeing this one for quite a while actually. Mainly because I like these kind of movies that are based around real life and verifiable stories. And this story in particular I wasn't very familiar with at all, but it looked interesting. This also has a great cast and is written by the guy who wrote The Big Short, which is one of my favorite movies of the last decade, so I had a lot of reasons to be excited about this. And the story here basically follows these three women working for Fox News. All of them in very different positions from each other, or rather in different stages of their career over at Fox News. One you could say is past her prime and on the way out, one is in her prime, and the third one is a newcomer who is on her way up. But the movie doesn't really focus on them and their careers per se. It's more about the whole Roger Ailes situation, who is the head of Fox News, and his whole sexual harassment allegations. And we get to see that whole situation play out from several different angles, including Roger Ailes himself too, and uh, how his whole team handles it all. Speaking of Ailes, he's played by John Lithgow, and I thought he did a really good job here, as he usually does. And I think pretty much everyone did a good job here, especially Charlize Theron, who is great here as Megan Kelly. She's also pretty much unrecognizable, which I thought was an interesting choice. But on the other hand, she does play a fairly well-known person, so maybe it was necessary. But it's not just her looks, it's also her voice and her delivery that was very much spot on as far as I can remember. From the few clips I've actually seen of Megan Kelly since I'm not exactly an avid Fox News viewer. But yeah, she dove into it fully and pretty much transformed herself with a, a lot of help from the makeup team. But as far as the story here goes, I found it to be somewhat interesting. But actually more compelling on paper than it turned out to be executed on screen here. And I guess that's my main issue with this. I just didn't find it to be all that gripping. It never really grabbed me or did anything to really impress me or catch my attention. It just came across as a bit dry and I'm struggling to figure out exactly why. Because as I said on paper this should be a very compelling story. And I can't really point to anything in particular that I found to be an issue either. I mean it's a very good looking movie, I also had no problems with the direction or the editing. It moved along at a steady pace and didn't feel like it dragged or anything. The acting is good and the cast is absolutely stacked with great actors in smaller roles too. But at the end of the day, I feel like it just lacked energy, it lacked punch. It also didn't have that sort of humorous approach that the big short had. Instead it's very much straight faced and serious and I guess if you take that approach, you gotta just lean into that and make sure to emphasize the drama. To really drive home how serious the situation is and what's at stake. But I guess this didn't really manage to do that, it felt a bit unimpactful. And at no point did I really feel invested in any of it either, and apart from a couple of scenes. It never felt gripping or very intense, which was probably the main problem here. So I don't know, I can't claim to have liked this overall very much. I mean it's not terrible or anything, but at the same time it's not great either. But how about it, would I recommend it? Eh, I wouldn't not recommend it, but I don't feel like you're missing out on much if you skip it either. So maybe give it a look, maybe don't, after all, I'm not your dad. But hey, what are your thoughts on this? Have you seen it? Did you like it? Let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, maybe give it a thumbs up or sub to the channel, because that would be fantastic. And if you'd like, you can also support me on Patreon or PayPal through the links in the description. And as always, I appreciate you and thanks for watching.